the Joe Rogan experience. Hitler, when he went to meet Mussolini, he was apparently super exhausted, so they pumped him up with steroids and oh, liquid really? cocaine. They liquid cocaine. Him. They injected him with steroids and cocaine, and then he liked it so much he asked for a second dose, and they thought, <laughs> they thought it was going to kill him, and he said, give it to me, and then they... <laughs> He went to visit Mussolini, apparently chewed Mussolini's ear off for five hours. Mussolini was apparently thinking about getting out of the war, and Hitler talked him out of it, just fucking spitting coke talk at him. Steroids and liquid cocaine? That's <laughs> the worst thing you can give to that guy. That's, that's a fucking Ric Flair Good right grief, there. man. Yeah. I mean, I think they've done that to people forever. Um, apparently, that was the case with Kennedy. Kennedy, they would shoot him up with amphetamines. Really? Yeah. See if you can find that. What, just to keep his energy levels up? K Kennedy was very sick okay. apparently before he died mm. and he had severe back pains okay. like he was he was really banged up and he had some sort of a disease i don't remember what the disease was but during much of his presidency they would put him on amphetamines to keep him active mm. they didn't think about the consequences of those things back then i don't think they truly understood addiction back then i don't think they truly understood like the way it affects your decision making process. Yeah. Well, that's back when they used to just, you know, advertise heroin in the newspaper and stuff as a, a sort of nah, general thing. They didn't do that in the stuff. 60s. Not in this, when was that? When was that? that was what a long, decade was that? Long when they used to just, ago. you'd look in, you'd look yeah. in the papers and they just have like, you know, <laughs> such and such heroin, like take this. Or, and when they used to give women uh, tapeworm eggs as diet pills and Did they all really? that crazy. Yeah. <gasps> Those were the original diet pills, right? They used oh to give women uh, ta tape tapeworm eggs. So really? you, you ingest it, and then obviously the tapeworm grows inside of you and eats all the food, and you lose weight. We have so much to talk about. Let's find out about Kenny first. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> we've heard of Dr. Feelgood. That's who his doctor was. Dr. Max Jacobson was injecting him and his wife and a I, list of other people. I thought it was a Motley Crue song. Wow. <laughs> okay, Dr. Jacobson. Oh, my God. <clears throat> here we go. What does it say here? Uh, the most... Scroll up a little bit. The most famous doctor patients were President and Mrs. Kennedy. Dr. Jacobson frequently visited the White House and often traveled with the Kennedys. In 1961, for example, he went with the President to Vienna for a summit meeting with Khrushchev. And Dr. Jacobson said in an interview, gave the President injections there. In addition to the Kennedys, other persons who are patients of the doctor included Truman Capote, Cecil B. DeMille, Eddie Fisher, Alan J. Lerner, I don't know who that is, Representative mm -hmm. Claude Pepper of Florida, blah, 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 a bunch of other politicians, and Tennessee Williams, wow, including, included among the number of, a number of other prominent patients of Dr. Jacobson have been a bunch of other famous people, blah, 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 blah. An extensive inquiry also turned up the names of well over 100 others in ranking positions in government, journalism, finance, industry, society, and several entertainment fields who are said to be patients of Dr. Jacobson, but who could not be confirmed as such. What does it say about, it? okay, it cannot be said with certainty that the Kennedys or, with a few exceptions, any other specific patient received amphetamine. <laughs> It is known, however, that Dr. Jacobson uses unusually large amounts of amphetamine in his practice. The doctor's office reported that Dr. Jacobson buys amphetamine at the rate of 80 grams a month. That is enough to make 100 fairly strong doses of 25 milligrams every day. Hmm. So he's got 100 people taking hardcore doses of amphetamines every day. 25 milligrams, apparently, they're saying it's a big dose. I don't know That's what that is. a lot. I mean, is it a lot? Like if you just take an Adderall, it's usually like 10 to 20 mm. max. Sometimes people that are crazy get 40. 25, you're fucking grinding enamel. That's injected too. Wow. Woo! Right to the source. <laughs> Fuck stomach acids. Get wow. it in the blood, baby. Wow. Yeah. I think it's been going on forever. Yeah, it seems like it. Well,. I mean, it's about energy, right? Like, look at poor fucking Joe Biden, that poor bastard. You've been paying attention to him? A little bit, yeah. He's, he's bleeding from he's, the eyes. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. On TV. His yeah. eyes just start bleeding. Yeah. How old, how old is he? A million. <laughs> he's a million years old. He's only like 78 or some shit. He's not yeah, that he's much older than, older than 78 is too old to be. It is too old. It's too old. If you're that guy. Yeah. I mean, you could be 70. Like Jack LaLanne when he was 78 looked fucking fantastic. Mm. When he was 90, he was pulling boats. Yeah. Do you ever see that? I don't Look at think I've seen Biden's him pulling eye. boats. Look at his yeah. eyeball. Yeah. No, that's too old, man. You don't, Ban for evasive answers. Evasive answers. The guy can't see. No. Fucking bleeding out of his eyeballs. That's like some Hellraiser type shit. Because if you do get into office, I mean, you age at like... 
four times the normal rate or something anyway. Don't well, you? he thinks he's been in office, but that's horseshit. He was a vice president. Vice president. The <laughs> vice president is probably the easiest job in the history of the world. <laughs> the vice president is like slightly easier than hosting Fear Factor. <laughs> that's what I think. You just kind of show up. Everybody else does the hard work. <laughs> that fucking guy. That's, a ba that's barely a job. <laughs>